Hi, it's Alana, and today I'm talking about the Fujifilm Instax Share Smartphone Printer SP2. So it's basically a really cool way to wirelessly create instant prints using your smartphone or a compatible camera. Now, if you're already a fan of Fujifilm Instax, this is a perfect addition to your collection because you can continue using your Instax film to create awesome photos. This whole collection comes with the printer, a USB cable, a rechargeable battery, a manual, and a one-year warranty. It also comes in two colors, gold and silver, and I have it in gold. The printer itself is very, oh, it's very lightweight actually, and because of the edges, you can have it standing up, you can have it lying down. Uh, there's a reprint button, which is cool. So if you already have one photo printed, just push this button and you'll make another copy for your friend. And this is the spot where you can put your film in. It's really easy to do. So if you wanted to print photos using your smartphone, you need to download the free Instax Share app. And once you've connected to the printer's Wi-Fi, you can use photos from your album, you can take photos with your camera, you can even use a bunch of filters and templates that the app has to get really creative with your photos. The SP2 is the second release in the Instax Share family. So today, I'll go over some of the differences between the two models to give you a better idea of how they work. The first model is called the SP1, and I actually already have that printer, so here's a quick comparison of the two. So right off the bat, you can tell that the SP1 is a little bit more wider, shorter, and more rounded compared to the SP2, which is taller, narrower, more like slim, streamlined from the sides. They're very similar uh, in width. However, I feel like the SP2 gets tapered at the top. Weight-wise, they're pretty much the same weight. However, I feel like it's easier to hold the SP2 in my hand compared to the SP1. This is a very shiny, plastic, white finish, while this is a more mattified, off-white finish. The batteries are different for these two printers as well. The SP1 uses CR2 batteries, while the SP2 uses a rechargeable lithium battery. So now that we took a look at the two printers, let's compare the prints. When you're ready, just press print on your phone and almost instantly your photo will be printed. I did notice, as you can see, that the SP2 was a few seconds quicker than the SP1. Photos from the SP2 are slightly sharper than the SP1. This is because it has a 320 dpi compared to the SP1's 254. So we have the photos from the SP1 on the left and the photos of the SP2 on the right. Uh, just looking at these photos, you can tell that the SP2 photos are a lot more brighter, a lot more contrasted, and a lot more warmer in color compared to the faded look of the SP1. Overall, I'm definitely liking the SP2's default printouts much better as they stand out more to me. So that was my quick overview of the Fujifilm Instax SP2. I want to give a huge thank you to Fujifilm Canada for sending me this product, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, it's Alana and today I'm reviewing the Fujifilm Instax Mini 70. It's their latest release. I got it in the color Moon White. So the reason why I bought the Instax Mini is because I'm a photographer and I just love taking photos.